This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a gold cinematic title animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. If you want more tutorials then please hit the like button and subscribe my channel okay so first create a new composition let's call it main and i'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 6 seconds long then click on ok now import our project files you can download these project files from link in the description box below so please check this out now create your text so right click new then click on text then type your text here Okay, now make it bigger, something like that. Perfect. Now select this layer, then right click, then choose pre-compose, then select mobile attributes and rename it to text. Then click on OK. Now go to project window and select our texture layer, then place it into this timeline. Now go to effect and preset window and search for motion tile. Then select this effect and apply onto this texture layer. Then go to beginning of this animation. Then uh, increase the output width to 500. Then set a keyframe on title center. Then go to end of this animation and increase the X amount a little bit. Perfect. Now select this texture layer, then right click, then choose pre-compose, then select mobile attributes, then click on OK. Now change the layer track mat to alpha mat. OK, now go to effect and preset window and search for CC lobby lies. Then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then go to blobiness, then blob layer set it our text layer. And then uh, property set it alpha and softness set it maybe. 8 and cut our set it 3 looks good to me and then go to light and light height set it 100% or maybe 80% okay now again go to effect and preset window and search for curves then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer now change the RGB curves to something like this. Perfect. Looks good to me. Design better projects faster with Envato elements. Get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects. Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files and more. All with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Inverter Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts and money. Get unlimited downloads with Inverto Elements and start creating today. Okay, now select these two layers, then right click, then choose pre-compose, then select mobile attributes and rename it to text, then click on OK. Now go to project window, then select our matte one layer then place it into this timeline now select this our text layer then change the layer track mat to uh, luma inverted mat
perfect make it a little bit bigger now again select these two layer then right click then choose pre-compose and select mobile attributes and rename it to main text then click on ok now go to beginning of this animation then press s on your keyboard then set a keyframe on scale then go to end of this animation and scale amount set it um, 85 looks good to me okay now select our particle gold background then place it in this timeline then press T on your keyboard and opacity set it 60% and then mm, uh, select our particle layer then place it into this timeline and then change the layer mode to add and then go to effect and preset window and search for curves and select these curves and apply onto this particle layer then adjust the RGB curves to something like this perfect Okay, now create a new black solid layer so right click new then click on solid then mm, color set it black then click on ok now go to toolbar and select rectangle tool then double click on it then double click on this marks part then hold down control then drag now click on invert Then select our background layer, then go to effect and preset window and search for curves, then apply the effect onto this layer. Now change the RGB curves to something like this. Looks good to me. Make this layer a little bit smaller. Okay, now again create a new. Okay, now create a new adjustment layer. Then go to effect and preset window and search for sharpen. Now select this effect and apply to this layer. Then sharpen amount set it twenty five. Our animation is complete. Press 0 to ramp into this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.